Welcome, believers, non-believers. This is Man Fernandez with Biblical Science. This is part two of God's providence. Watch God's providence, part one. I'm talking about how God is provident. This is for believers and unbelievers. You need to really appreciate. You'll never fully fathom, but I'll give you a taste. A fathom how God is omnipotent and omnipresent. These articles of Muslim non-believers is proof. In actuality, that God is all those three things, omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient. Left off with 10 reasons on universe may might actually be a virtual reality. This guy can tell he's probably not a believer or he's deluded. It's not my is. Chuck Minister says that. Here, here we're going to the self-defense mechanisms. I told you the devil puts in self that defense mechanisms, remember propaganda is def you deceiving yourself, self de defense mechanisms, what does it mean not to listen to what I'm saying, how your brain, your ego protects yourself, ego protects itself from the truth, here's fastcompany.com, four ways your brain is holding you back, talks about how your, your brain is really your enemy, which it is, which is biblical, Lean not to your own understanding. The mind is weak, feeble. I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. The Jesuits, they're, they're all mine. They're intellectual. They're really smart. They they go to school, uh, told by Eric Phelps, 15 years. But don't get me wrong, mind is powerful, but you're, you're beyond that. Spiritual. But they're all about intellect. All these people, I'm really smart. My mind, my mind. Mind just interface. It's your soul controlling the mind. Not let, if you're unsaved, your mind's controlling your soul, your sinful flesh. If you're saved, it's the other way around. But it's not really your soul controlling it. It's the Holy Ghost controlling the soul that controls your mind, your sinful nature. Like I said, I'm not going to read all through this because I got a lot of uh, articles to go through. Basically, I just want to start reading quotes. If I see any quotes that might be edifying to you. Yeah. Here's a good quote. By facing and embracing your fears, you let go of the need to control them. Everybody wants to control things. You don't have that much time. I got five minutes. There's that time. First time. Yeah. So a Christian should not be like that. The Holy Ghost, God will make time for you. Okay. Yes, you're supposed to. Time management is important, but all these people... Time is their God, which is idolatry. I don't have time for this. I don't have time to listen to this guy. He's crazy. He's nuts. Remember, the devil's the God of preoccupation. God has stuff to do. The only thing should, time should be a fact is beyond time for work. Absolutely. You know, but God, remember, God is beyond time, so he's the master of it. God is an age. He's eternal. I am the Alpha and the Omega. But all this obsession with time, idolatry. I wasn't even aware of it. I'm a used to be a time freak. How long does it take? Don't, I don't got time for this. I plan no. Your time is not yours anymore when you're saved. It's God's anyways. Okay, you're on His timetable. I told you that before. There's a timer that you can't see above your head. God knows. It could be 24 hours in counting, down to 24 hours. It could be right after this video. Everybody has a time clock on their head. When they're gonna die. When God knows. So stop trying to be in control of anything because you're not you're really not in control of anything. It's unsaved or saved. God's in control. He's provident. Oh he might think of God as uh um uh, think think of God as the road. You might take a left. No, I'm taking a left. God's gonna weave that to make it seem to, to to make you seem like you're going left, but you're going his way. You're going right. Remember, left is the opposite of right. You know, left eye, rebellion. She yeah, she's Illuminati blood sacrifice, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that's how God works in this world. Saved or unsaved, you can take this is for people that think they're in control. I'm in the control of my life. What they make Morpheus says to Neo, Do you believe in fate, Neo? 
No, I, I can't. I can't. Parents, I can't compensate the thought that I'm not in control of my own life. You're not in control of your life. Make lefts all you want. God's leaving you. Takes everything and weaves it to the fashion into the will of His counsel. You, you're going right. Well, it doesn't seem like it. you are. That's why God is in control. I'm gonna have to do a video on that, that. How God's in control. Okay. I'm not dying until He says so. Period. Or you commit suicide, shoot yourself. He might. He'll make the gun jam. He'll make the gun jam. People that try to kill themselves overdose, they don't. So, here's another one, pbs.org. Are we living in a computer simu simulation? The nature of reality. Um, some philosophers are taking the idea called the simulation argument. The physicist has gone even further, suggesting that we might even be able to detect evidence that confirms if we know where to look, discernment, Talks about the uh, simulations are considered are different from those in the movies, like in the Matrix, in which the world is simulated, but the conscious minds are not. That is where biological human beings, again, we're not human beings, we're man, with human brains interface with the simulated world. But your body is an interface. The dialog boxes on your windows, okay, cancel interface it's you interacting with the source code of the operating system my body is just an interface which I use to interface interact with the physical world interface called GUI graphical, you, you, uh, graphical uh, user interface so let's go to another one pineal gland yeah Need to get in the pineal gland. Uh, Bible talks about the pineal gland. Of course, a lot of people don't understand it, don't know what the, the Bible means about it. But uh, I can make a whole doc documentary, five hour doc about the pineal gland. Uh, the pineal gland is the third eye. It's right here. Uh, it's what those New Agers want you to open. Don't open it. The Bible forbids, condemns you interacting with the spiritual world. You let, you, the only interaction you should be interacting with is the book and the Holy Ghost in you and your brethren. Remember, the devil devil's spiritual being. The devil's all for spirituality. He wants you to open that pineal gland and astral project. So if your body can astral project out, well, things can come in. I'm saved. I know that can't happen to me. Unsafe people, absolutely. There's a documentary called Spirit Science where it talks about that. That's all New Age philosophy, humanism, trash. Uh, but the, there's a passage in Matthew. If thine eye, thine eye, doesn't say eyes, it says eye, pineal gland. Be single and full of, and, uh, uh, full of light. That's talking about your soul. Then you're with God. If it's not, then it's full of darkness. That's with the devil. I don't know if it says that verbatim, but it's talking about the pineal gland. I think that God put that there and let us know about it, just as as, as proof that you're a spiritual being. Pineal gland secretes some uh, chemical called dialmethyltryptophan, which is in marijuana. What a coincidence! God's providence is it where? To marijuana, am I saying go and smoke marijuana? No, but what about people that need for medicinal purposes? It cures depression, non-debatable. Cures cancer. I'm saying don't worship, idolize it, addict to marijuana. But yeah, the same chemical marijuana has is in your pineal gland. That's a scientific fact. There's two times where your body secretes the dialmethyltryptophan. Actually, your pineal gland is for your circadian rhythm when you sleep. Pineal gland. It releases the melatonin. That's what that's what makes you sleep. You sleep in That's why that's how you don't act out your dreams. You ever notice why you're in a dream, you don't act it out, you stay still. Some people sleep off. That's demon possession. Uh messing with their pineal gland. That's uh melatonin. That's from the pineal gland. Pineal gland secretes the diamethyltryptophan only in two stages. When you're born, and guess when else? When you die. Of course, it's the transport process. Transport you into the physical realm when you're born. 
when you go out. You leave the same way you came, with nothing, with your soul. It's your soul going in your body. Okay? That, that's why I don't like people saying my mother gave me life. Yeah, she created my soul. I don't think so. God gave me life. She created the vessel for my soul. But she didn't create that because everything is really of God. She's just a, a medium. She gave you life. No, God gave me life. There's that uh, humanistic language, neuro linguistic programming. No, God created my soul, infused it into my body when I was born. Okay? Pineal glands in action, and it's in action when you leave this world. Okay? I think God just put that to let us know to, for all you atheists, there's no God. Explain the pineal gland to me. It's, they're talking, it's the third eye. It's a, these are atheists. It's, we can't explain this. This is a gateway to another dimension and all that. It, it, like I said, it's you can use it for evil and good. Everything can be used evil or good. It's not for, I'm not saying open it up and mess with spiritual power. Saved or not saved. I'm just saying, I just realize it's there because the Bible references it. Okay, that's it. Of course, the Vatican knows all about it. They call it pineal because it's, it's from the word pineapple. The Vatican has the biggest pineapple shaped cone in the world, right outside Vatican walls. Jesuits know all about the pineal gland. It's how they do their spiritual exercises, levitating off the dead, off, off the floor. Uh, speaking in tongues demonically and all that, they know all about the pineal gland. They don't want you to know. Remember, I eat the truth, I feed you the lies. They don't want you to know. But they know all about this. Talks so, about this is from mind, body, uh, spirit.com, body, mind, soul, spirit.com, pineal gland, point of connection between the body and the soul. Is the pineal gland the soul or the soul is in it? No, I think the soul is in it. I don't think it is the soul, it's a transport module. Okay, like I said, the, the, the DMT is produced when you're born. It's also produced when you die. I think it's transportation. It's the car your soul's in. Think of it as that. Okay. So I talked about pineal gland. I'm not for again. I'm not for all you people twisting my words. I'm not for opening it. Just realize it's there. I told you earlier here in this ministry, I don't need the nature. I'm talking to you atheists. I don't need na use nature, Fibonacci, Golden Ratio, to prove you're, you're a divine being created by intelligent being. Your body is proof enough. If you really know your body, people are ignorant about bodies. They don't know. Let's talk about the body. They, they don't know that uh, love is truly a power. Remember, God is love. It's truly, I'm talking about truly power. There's a, I, I, I barely believe it. This is how. Remember, I'm totally depraved, just like you, save the not saved. But I, I told, I hardly believe it. But I was taught to obey the truth. But there's an article out there uh, about a, a woman who gave birth, ba baby died. Uh, you call it stillbirth. I don't know what it is, but the baby died. Thought, okay, this baby's dead. What did the mother did? This is a news article. This is not me. She took the baby, put her in her arms. She caressed it. Baby started moving. Don't say, oh, that's uh, that's nothing. Your, bo your body twitches, twitches and convulses after your death, for all you don't know. The doctor says that. It was a life. God is love. You're a love being. That's another reason why he created you. To experience love and give it. Take and give love. Not lust. Don't confuse. We confuse love with lust. Not love. Love. Love is pain and sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she the baby was brought back to life. God, I don't know. Maybe she prayed. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe she was a Bible believer. But yeah, there's an article out there. Good luck finding it because uh, the devil, my mind's blocking me from saying I find it. But yeah, I think it was Australia. Baby died. She, doctor said it was dead when it came out of her. She grabbed it, put her arms, caressed it. I think she was crying, tears life came back but yeah of course the news is going to tell you that no they're not going to tell you that they're not going to tell you that they won't tell you about James Harrison which his blood has a rare antigen that cures this ruse, ruse disease saved over 100,000 100,000 people they won't tell you that they'll tell you LeBron James scored 40 points so they'll tell you that in the game but they won't tell you that God's providence providence so, 
let's keep going here like I said I have spiritual discernment I'm proving it to you right here here's an article from riseearth.com 18 spiritual teachings that blew my mind it starts off with new age I mean I'm not stupid like I said when you read, go through the realms of the secular world be careful the things that are edifying the things that are not edifying Here's an article that's not edifying, but like I said, spiritual discernment. Let's talk about New Age. Sounds real positive to an unbeliever. It just sounds like what he wants me to do. Everything I need is already within me. No. If, if you're saved, yes. Unsaved, no. But remember, humanism. They want to think, believe you're God. Everything I need is already with me. Again, I'm not for this one. I'm against it. I'm tearing it down. I want you to realize that. I'm telling you to go there to prove that I have spiritual discernment. I can and do create my life through cre creative visualization. It sounds like Benny Hinn wrote this because that's what he's talking about. Joel Osteen, I am. Visualize. You see what you want to see. You visualize. You speak things to existence just like God did because you're God. No. All things must pass. Yeah, God, all things must pass. Faith is letting go. Now, like I said, here's an evil article. Not edifying, but... Faith is letting go. When you have faith in God, you don't care about materialism. Your life. You don't care about nothing but pleasing Him. But again, faith, what faith is this talking about? Faith in yourself? Faith, people don't know these how devil plays with words, I'm telling you. What faith is this talking about? It's talking about New Age, I assume this is talking about faith in yourself. No, there's no such thing as faith in yourself. Faith is a gift from God. Okay? Don't tell me I had my own faith and I believed it the gospel on my own. You do not believe the gospel on your own. God gave you the faith. Faith is fruit of the spirit. So that's why I think it's this faith it's talking about. You're not talking about God's faith. You're talking about man's faith. You think man is God. It's God like. This though I even need to say this to unbelievers. I mean believers. All meditation is good meditation. Yeah, of course it is. The only meditation you should be doing is meditation on God's word, because it says it in the Bible, abide in God's word, meditation. And through prayer, not the New Age meditation where your mind's clear. This is demon possession. This is Christian yoga. This is demonism. This is humanism. The not not New Age meditation where you don't have the Bible. You're not you're not with God. You're not praying. You're not abiding by His Word. You just let your mind go free. You know you you heard about this all in these religions, these Eastern religions, all pagan. Let your mind free. Let your mind go to let a demon come in. All good meditation is not. All meditation is not good. Most of it is satanic. It talks about each morning I'm born again. Each morning? No. Continue out? No. You're born again once. You have to work it out through fear and trembling. It talks about no self. Yeah, I agree with that. But what, again, what, what is he talking about? But I, like I say, I see things. Through God's eyes. That's, that's what spiritual discernment is. is. you are seeing things as God will have you see it. And you, if you have the Holy Ghost, that's the case. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, you're supposed to deny yourself. No self. Okay? You're supposed to deny yourself. So let's keep going. I have a, not even making headway here. Let's see if this one is... Yeah, this one talks about mind control. Ten popular techniques that's been used on us. How to exit the matrix.com. Ten popular mind control techniques used today. Education, which is not education, is indoctrination. Uh, education is not education. To, to be educated is to be educated by someone on equal footing. It's not he's not on equal footing, he's an authority. But he he empowers you to say you're an authority too. But is that in school? No, it's indoctrination. It's fear driven. Okay, I'm the teacher. Look at all these degrees here. You do what I say. That's indoctrination not education. Edifying, that's what the word education comes from. It's biblical. <laughs> What's the word education? It, to educate, edify, comes from the Bible. But this is the demo demonic education, which is not education. This is indoctrination. See the word, see the word as if way it is. I don't care how, how much they use the God's words, his, his terminology. It can say education all you want. It's not education. It's indoctrination. Okay? You put, schools make you taught to obey authority. Plain simple. That's what school is. And intelligence is regurgitating regurgitating what they taught you. 
I'm smart. I, I remember trigonometry, all that trash, calculus, trash. You must unlearn to learn. That's what Yoda said in Star Wars. I think it was Return of the Jedi. You must unlearn what you learn. Empty your cup. That's what a Chinese philosopher says. Buddha. Absolutely. Your cup is full of crap, crud. Fill, empty it and fill it up with the Holy Ghost. Advertising propaganda. Edward Bernays, he invented it. Propaganda, it's not them deceiving you. No, you deceiving yourself. And if you watch Inception, you know what I'm talking about. Predictive programming, which is what propaganda is. They're anticipating every sports, politics, religion, which is really all religion. Remember I told you there's no such thing as political, economical. Jesuits can create as much money as want. They rule the world politically, so it's religious. That's the only thing that's left. Sports is a religion. Oh, uh, you, you can go ahead and watch it, but that's its intent. I watch it to, yeah, I enjoy it. I don't love it. I don't lust at it. I don't worship it. You know, I, I watch no. F I want to watch a football game yesterday. I watched a couple hours now. Stop this and make some more videos. Food, water, and air. The GMOs, fluoride in the water. Air, chemtrails. This is all to dumb you down. Dumb. Remember, you you come out thinking that you're not a spirit, you're a mind. The devil knows as long as you think you're a mind, he keeps you in that five sense reality. You will not be. You will not realize you're really just a spirit. All these is to stop that. Cut, cut that. Sever that tie from God. That connection. The food. The GMO. The water. The air. Drugs. It's nothing more than. Drugs is, is what drugs is. Being a Christian is about spirituality, spiritual science. The devil's, the devil's drugs are never mind about you. Want to get spiritual? Do some uh, ecstasy. You'll get spirit. You will get spiritual. It's the wrong spirit though. Demons. Pharma, pharmaceutical comes from the word pharmakia, means sorcery, from the Greek. Military testing. Uh, remember, I told you, Godfather is not a movie. The documentary. All those really happen. Mafia working with the Vatican, Immobiliary, Knights of Malta, Catholic Church everywhere. Well, here's, here's another group of movies that is not, it's not made up. It's not made up. These are documentaries. Remember I told you, Bill Cooper, he said it, not me. These movies, they're good at making truth, making good at making, making the truth look like fiction. He said it. Probably killed him for that. Military testing. Bourne. Jason Bourne. I think uh, Robert Ludden was a Jesuit coadjutor, but he went beyond his bounds. Just like Tom Clancy was a Jesuit coadjutor. You can go beyond your reach, they'll kill you. They'll kill their own. They don't care. Uh, yeah, all the bone movies, that are, it's not made up. It's factual, 100%. Okay? That's how they train the CIA agents, which is nothing more than spiritual exercises. That's how they train the Jesuits. <laughs> CIA agents are nothing more but Jesuits masqueraded as assassins fighting for the country, no. That's how they train the Jesuits. Do you accept this program? Yes, I do. Blah, blah, blah. They dip them in the water. They break them down. Break them down, and they build them up. Funny. That's devil trying to be like God, because a, a Christian, he must be crucified in the flesh. He must be destroyed. His old self, the old is gone, the new has come. Well, the devil said, I can do that too. That's what these CIA agents are. They're nothing but Jesuits. Co-acquired That's all they are. They do the same way. They break you down. Make sure you have no fear. Roboticize you. Anyway, through anyway. Men Who Stare at Goats, that's a good movie. Mind Control. They break you down. And then you become a new, new different person. Demon possessed or oppressed. So yeah, they killed. He died in a mysterious fire, by the way, Robert Blood. Yeah, Jesuits killed him. Can't, can't, have, can't have people know that mind control is really real. Uh, saw the uh, born... Uh, they make it another Bourne movie, by the way. Uh, Bourne Five, with Bourne Four, and Bourne Legacy with Jeremy Renner. But that guy, he's, he's mind control. I'm talking dead mind control. Yeah, he's demon possessed, shooting everybody. The, the, you better believe they can do that to you. You can't do it to me. I can't be demon possessed. Oh, you better believe they can do it. You, their technology is far beyond. Which is don't think technology. It's all about knowing how the laws. God's laws work, which they know. Remember, they they cultists. They hold us up the knowledge. They they need to know business. You don't need to know. So yeah, yeah. Born 
watch it through the way I'm saying it to spiritual discernment and you know born is not MK Ultra. That's MK Ultra, but they don't call it that. Of course they keep they can't call it. They'll kill everybody there. But yeah, God's providence, the truth comes out. You can't hide the truth. You can't run from the truth. The truth is Jesus Christ, the truth is God Father. Go ahead and run. Can't run from God. But people we try. The devil makes believe that we can try. Uh, it talks about military testing, remote viewing, which is all factual, all true, that's demon possession. Uh, television, the flicker rate of the television. This I know it's a fact. You ever this is for the unbelievers, but I said I said I said you should you should watch TV from time to time for edification. But not religiously like I used to. I used to watch eight now nine other day. You ever started watching something where someone taps you on the shoulder, you're in a trance, but I'm watching something. Some taps you. They have to tell. They have to call your name out loud. Flicker rate. That's a CIA weapon. Do you know who created the TV? Freemason. Look it up. Illuminati. No one ever talks about who created the TV. So he's a Freemason. Period. I forgot his name, but look him up. But still, since I got spiritual discernment, I'm not under the devil. Under God, I watch TV from time to time. It's, it's Nature shows uh, evil. It is evil if you worship the creator, creation instead of the creator. No, I love nature shows. And I used to hate it. Now with HD, look so. I, I do it too. Look how God is glorified in his creation. I'm going to watch. I love it when they show nature shows underwater. Beautiful. But do we watch that? No, we're watching the Jersey Shore. Those I don't watch. Let me tell you what. What a Christian show watch when it comes to TV versus it should be less, it should be more doing stuff like this, evangelizing. But if you do, go ahead and watch some sports. I think that's a total waste of time. Most sports should be the less because it has nothing to do with it's propping up man, humanism, man is God. Uh, nature shows definitely documentaries, even though they're you know, documents are history, it's, it's bull crap, it's evolutionism, big bang theory. The TV show, The Big Bang Theory. I'm not watching that, of course. No, Christian, you can watch comedy, but not really no comedy because you were taught to be sober. Stop joking around like I used to be a comedian. You should be joyful, but but sober. Don't watch no comedy shows. Watch movies like The Matrix, Edification. You should know what I'm talking about. Matrix, Godfather. The true history, true science. Movies that reflect that. Movies that. Any TV show? Yes. Um, things are like demonic shows, like Hannibal. Yes, uh, they they are here right now. Yes, oh no, no, he he watched Hannibal. That's probably evil. Well, the devil knows me into me. Shouldn't I know him? I'm talking about critically. Not take it in. If you get emotional about what you see on the TV, stop right there. Emotions of the devil, good or bad. Oh, he says he's emotional. Emotional is no. To me, that's a Satanic word, get that away from me. Oh no, he's positively good emotion. That's demons, that's sinful nature, that's react reaction. A Christian should not be emotional. No. A anything that seems like emotion, I mean, joy is not an emotion, that's from God. Yeah, no, it is. It is. No, you're thinking about happiness. Happiness is joy. Is I'm glad I thought that. Happiness and joy is two different things. Happiness is of the devil. Why? Because it needs constant. Gratification. He who covets silver will never be satisfied he, until he gets more silver. So what it means by that? I like. I used to like jewelry. Kept getting it. Can't stop getting it. Crosses. I used to look like a baby. Everything. Wanting more. Wanting more. Wanting more. I'm happy. But no, the devil doesn't want you to say that word. Remember, he likes to merge words. You're joyful. No, joy is a fruit of the spirit. Be careful with the words you choose. Joy is a fruit of the Spirit. I'm joyful because I'm saved. The joy is the fruit of the God. Joy of salvation. That's why the helmet of salvation is so important. I'm joyful. I'm not happy. Deliver me from that word happy. A Christian should be joyful, not emotional. Anything that you think is emotional is deemed possession. And if you're saved, you still think it is. You're confusing that from the fruits of the Spirit. Joy, kindness, meekness, long-suffering. Those are emotions. No, those are fruits of the Spirit. Oh, they may manifest as sort of emotion, but that's not emotion. Okay? Those are supernatural gifts. You need to see joy as a supernatural gift, not from you. Happiness is a natural gift. Happiness. 
Kindness, true kindness is a supernatural. Oh yeah, people Satan is so kind to people, but do they have an agenda? Why are they kind to people? Remember, intent. So yeah, sorry for sitting on the course. I might have to make a another video, but uh talks about uh remember I told you they're fifty hundred years ahead of technology, uh Jesuits. Uh talks about nanomites, nanobots. So GI Joe, do they exist? Absolutely. Nanomite technology, look it up. Absolutely they exist. They brag in their movies because they know they're too stupid. And you know if I, I talk to you about it, that was in a movie. Okay, anything in movies is fake. What's real is in the news when it's actually the opposite. Remember, the devil is Mr. Vertigo. You know what Vertigo is. Up is down, down is up, left is right. That's a Jesuit maxim. Black is white, white is black. That's their maxim. That's what they live by. Supreme obedience. Here's another satanic article. Like I said, I'm going to go through positive and non-positive. I want to show you both sides to show you how I have spiritual discernment. If you don't have this discernment, this is not edifying. You know, edification of, you can only see edification of secular things if you have spiritual discernment. What spiritual discernment is that you're being guided by the Holy Ghost, not of yourselves. Powerful affirmation. Again, this is prosperity, speech, and new age garbage nonsense. Speaking things to existence. I can achieve greatness. I. I am. I. I love and accept myself. I love myself. Yeah, the Ayah says, love your, love others as you love yourself. But what love are we talking about? Are you talking about lust? Love? Remember, love is... The devil hijacks that word and makes it to his own meaning. What love are you talking about? Are you talking about God's love? I already told you what love is... How God sees it. It's pain and sacrifice. For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. son. Pain and sacrifice. That's what true love is. Uh, but I have to do it view just on love because I don't think people understand what love is the word no idea my body is healthy my mind is brilliant this, these are things you're supposed to say to yourself and you become remember I am remember no no I believe I can do anything sure that, that's factual if God permits it that goes for saved and unsaved believe he's in control not you saved and unsaved he makes you think for unsaved people he makes you think not, he, not God the devil makes you think you're in control through these positive affirmations. And I used to believe in this trash. See, this is an article I say, this so that my spiritual discernment has grown. This is not something I picked to say, oh, this is evil. I used to believe in this trash. This is on my phone for a reason. Everything happening now is for my ultimate good. I'm the architect of my life. I'm God. I forgive those who have harmed me. Yes, you should forgive. Yeah. Like I said, you can find some edification in this. Christian needs to forgive. Now, now, I used to thought forgive and forget are... are are the same thing. Well, if you don't forget, you didn't forgive. Absolutely not. They're mutually exclusive. I can forget some, something someone did to me, but I does not want you to go, oh, everything's fine. We're friends. No. The Bible says, do not yoke for unbelievers. Uh, bad company corrupts good manners. Book of Proverbs. No. The Bible preaches, it preaches this to separate. Doctrine of separation from unbelievers. Period. Yeah, you can go to a party provided it's it's a down earth party, not a satanic party, you know, doing drugs and like that. So it's called social gathering, because Christians not call it party, social gathering. To to edify and glorify God, yeah. But if you can't handle it, stay away. Okay, if you when I mean say can't handle it, if you let it affect you, influence you, stay away. Because everything's influential. Influence. Everything's about influence. I'm influenced by the Holy Ghost. You're unsaved, you're influenced by the devil. So yeah, this this series might turn into a series. This is the second part. I want it. This is very important stuff. This this is the everything else I said is important, but this is the the bare bones for this is for unbelievers that you need to get your act together. This is me convicting you. This is really the Holy Ghost convicting me to convicting you. Everything I do is not me. It's the Holy Ghost empowering me to do it, giving me the power. Everything is through the I, yes, I have a free will, but everything is through, I submit my will to God as Jesus Christ submit the will to his Father. It's not my will, Father, but your will be done. My ability to conquer my challenges is limitless. Yes, if you're driven by the Holy Ghost, no, I'm not driven by the devil. Today I abandon, abandon my old habits, take up new and more positive ones. Yes, yes, sinful habits, absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna go to 50 minutes and stop. Let's keep going. Seven better ways uh, to listen to intuition. The mindunleashed.org. Again, 
Christian need to dissect every word someone uses. Christian, when I talk to someone, that's how I am in my mind. He says this word. I'm not going to assume is the devil. Don't assume. Assumption is the devil. It's satanic. So when someone uses words that everyone uses, uh, I have spiritual discernment. Intuition. What intuition are you talking about? Intuition of your sinful nature or intuition of the Holy Ghost? Because the Holy Ghost is, remember, has the qualities of a person. It moans. Think of it as you have a person. It's really, it's a spirit, but has the characteristics of a human being. Uh, there, yeah, I say human being. See, I'm still programmed. Of a man. Holy Ghost moans. It groans. It can be offended. That's why your body is the temple of God. You can offend it. You can hurt it. Not hurt like physically, like I, I can damn you, like hurt. You hurt its feelings. It has feelings. Not emotion, because uh, the emotions are all of the sinful nature. Seven better ways to listen to, to, to it. Let's see if there's anything. It starts off with New Age mysticism. I guess it's not that much. Meditation. Again, what meditation are we talking about? This seems like work and effort. It should. I'm losing my voice here. This is how you get your reward. Because you're saying God's problem. He's in control. Well, what do you do? You labor. God gives you the tools, but you still got to use it. I'm telling you to build this car. I give you all the tools. Tools just levitate, fix it. Fix the car itself? No. You got to pick up the tool. He gave me a tool of meekness. I got to pick up this tool called meekness and do it. Do the work. That's through you. You earn, That's your reward. You can't earn your salvation. You can earn rewards and you can lose it. So you're the laborers of the harvest. Okay? So, yeah, this is hard work. I, am I bragging? Let me you know. This is God name. I'm about to lose my voice here. I'm going to keep going. Meditation. Spend time in silence simply listening. Who are we listening to? Uh, commune with nature, creativity, learn to listen, be body conscious, let go. Everything, remember, being saved is perception. You can view things that are totally meant for evil, like these movies, demonic, and see, okay, I see the good side of it. Unsaved sees it for what it is. This is there's some saved Christians looted. That's, you know, that's a demonic move. They have that with edification. They have that all or nothing. If it's not all 100% biblical, I discard it. Good. That's what the devil wants you to do. Good. You're you're losing your rewards. Please do that. The Matrix is a demonic movie. I'm not watching it. Except, which it is. Don't tell me it doesn't have, I can't edify. You're in sin. Don't tell me I can't edify that. It doesn't have some. It's not a Christian movie, but it has Christian aspects of it. We're not a Christian nation. Not anymore, but we were built on Christian values, but we was never a Christian nation. And I'm going to have to uh, not go through all of them. I'm going to pick the ones I know I did not talk about. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have to skip some. I want to talk about things. I don't like repeating myself. Yeah, this is a good one. Again, this demonic is meant for evil. It's talking about not with the help of God, doing it in your own will. Anyone that anyone that uses his how you spiritually discern. When you hear the words you, I Free will, I can will this to happen. Love yourself. You're not love, love yourself. Self esteem, create my own success, create my happiness. Those are demonic words. And, and, and well, they're not, they can be neither demonic or, or righteous. Like I said, there's, there's, there's in the middle between righteous and sin, but they can be used, demonic words. If you don't use it, Use it. You don't spiritually discern, but those are words you stay away from. That's not, let me just put it that way. I, I got to be careful. I got to take my own advice. I got to practice what I preach. I got to be careful of the words I use. I'm not gonna say demonic. Those are words you should ra raise a red flag. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is that flag. Let me read. When you have that cartoon characters, when they have that light bulb above their head, that's either the Holy Ghost. That's how I see it, symbol it, like Holy Ghost or your sinful nature with the devil. But yeah, this should be a red flag. Danger, danger. This is this is not for me, but let's get into this article. Uh, I, the way I see this, this is a good article. This is a uh, seven the seven secrets of simply living that a society has alienated you from. I mean, this is the characteristics of a, a of a saved person. Now, 
did they create it for that purpose that intent probably not but it is life's purpose simplicity in itself Christian life is simple yield to the will of God can it's easier said than done let's put that way but it's simple God's not the author of confusion you're confused that's your sinful nature that's your problem that's of the devil life is simple your wants are not your needs okay really your Christian only she need is the Holy Ghost guidance from the Holy Ghost and the triune God he's not a moron he's not inconsiderate man he's your father he knows what you need make no bones about it but you really don't need nothing he it says in the Bible he'll give you what you need he, he'll answer your prayers before you even pray for it he'll give you money before you ask if it's in the accordance of his will and it serves his purpose not yours it's all about his purpose so you have you you only need is God less is more absolutely I believe the less materials you have the more liberated you are that, that that's even if you're unsaved I don't care if you're not even saved that's a fact that's scientific they don't you ever heard of that term you don't own your car it owns you what well, it is let's, let's break down a car note you know you're, you're really worship, worshiping your car this is for unsaved people believers they know better but they need to get around they need to pay a car note but unsaved people they're in program this is the programming you, you worship, I used to have a Honda Accord that I worship. Well, it's a church, uh, it's a chapel. A church, every, every time you go to chapel, you do, you give money, tithe. I pay a car note. You're worshiping it. I don't own it, it owns me. Gotta make sure it's clean. Maintenance. Oh, Christians should be doing that, but I, I, I worship it though. Remember, don't worship. Worship is that car's in your head 24 7. We should be God. But yeah, I worship. That's all. That's remember. You're not paying for it. You're just charging that, so you don't own nothing. IRS come and take that car. You don't own nothing. Remember, you're in the matrix. You don't own nothing. You think you own. There's people that have been lost for years. That they're saying that in my face. That gives me hope. That gives me hope to to do this. That gives me hope. Even though I mean, you should get it from God, but you'll get hope from other things. Um. Less is more, absolutely. You don't need approval from anyone, absolutely, except God. I don't agree with him. Uh, this is what he's doing, satanic. Good. I know in my heart. As a man thinks, sure he'll be. Your, where your treasure is, with your heart. I'm doing this not to say, look at me or make money. Doing this for the will of God. That's that's all I need to say. Uh, let's keep going comfort zone absolutely this is very crucial and important pick the brain dot com like I said its intent probably secular but don't tell me I can't edify from this it, is this TV is this I can't even do this can't even read now am I only supposed to read the Bible no the, the Bible is your final authority but you can see other authorities and edify from it. but your Bible is put it through the fire like I said if it burns if the Bible consumes it what you know not biblical satanic Holds the test of fire, it doesn't consume, it's biblical. Well, let's see. Seven things you need to know to get out of your comfort zone. If you're saved, you should not be comfortable. Uh, comfortable in your salvation, but that's it. You should not be comfortable. Why? Because you're not going by your sight no more. Sight as in five senses. You're not going by the five sense reality. You're going by guidance of the Holy Ghost. Uh, you're a sensory being. Even being saved, don't tell me that's not unnerving and edgy, unedgy. You don't know what's about to happen. All you know that God loves you and He's in control. He doesn't put anything that you can't handle. You heard that term. God does not close the door unless He opens a window. Okay? Stress is the fertilizer uh, of creativity. Like I said, this, the trials of fire is what firms and, and hardens your faith. So you can go out in the world and and really preach the word of God. So this talks about comfort zone. Change your lifestyle. It's being saved. It's a lifestyle. It's not a religion. You, your whole outlook. You, know, you, just, you, you just realize you're a spirit being. That's it. That's what saves all about. You're not a. You're not what you own. Uh, Fight Club is another one. Oh, it's an evil movie. Yeah, absolutely. But I actually agree with him when he says you're not your clothes. Tyler Durant, you're not your clothes. It's only that we lose everything, that we're free to do anything. Yes, salvation is freedom. You're not your clothes, not, you're not the money in your wallet. 
quantum figures prove that that's not you anyways. Your spirit being, well, this is figments of your imagination anyways. This phone, my material position, they're not real. Oh, you think it's real? Because like, like Leonardo DiCaprio said, Inception is, why does this glass feel real? Because it feels real because you're in the dream. It feels real. This feels real because I'm in it. It feels real. That's the intent. That's what it's supposed to be. Um, there's another one. Collective evolution. Collective dash dash evolution. Nothing is solid. Everything is energy. Scientists explain the world of quantum physics. Basically, it goes along I was talking about, so I'm not going to repeat myself. It's God's province right here. I'll probably end with this. Um, body, mind, soul, spirit.com. The Bible, Bible talks about, you know, crying is good, godly sorrow worketh repentance. When I was saved in February 2015, like I said, I don't, I don't, first of all, scientific fact, men that cry are stronger than men that don't. That's a scientific fact. Oh, that's emotion. Well, Goes back to what you said. This country can't emotion. Yeah, you can say emotion, but I'm just talking about generally speaking. Is the of the sinful nature. It, it depends on what kind of what kind of why are you crying. You crying because you lost your job. You crying for what you did. Remember, put it in the right context. But uh, the Bible says, you know, how God wipe away your tears and all that. And let's talk about the amazing healing power of tears. How crying is good for you. Tears are your body's release valve for stress, sadness, and grief, anxiety, and frustration. When a child is born, the tears are a relief when a difficulty is, has passed. When I cry, I feel cleansing, a way to purge pent-up emotions. Christians should be crying all the time. I, I see these ministries. I cried when I did this. I cried. Absolutely. Just make sure you're crying for the right reason, not of the flesh. Remember, every, just about everything the spirit of the flesh tries to imitate your sinful nature. Why are you crying? I cried because I knew I was a sinner and I needed God. I was a worthless piece of trash, defiled, totally depraved. Godly saw works it to repent. That's not that repentance come from within. Repentance is, this repentance is a gift from God. This is godly sorrow. God convicted me. That's how I know my salvation is genuine. I'm not talking about, oh, I cry so I'm saved. No. Nope. I cry like a weeping little baby. It's different. This is godly sorrow worketh repentance. Repentance and faith are a gift from God. I cannot stipulate that, make that more clear. The gift from God. God gives you the gift to repent. If you won't, you won't. He gives you the gift of faith. If you won't, you won't have none. But they want to say, no, ne never mind, you can repent on your own. Which you can. There's people that preach different three types of repentance, but I don't want to get into the repentance. I'm talking about God in repentance. The repentance that should matter. The repentance, the only repentance that should The only gifts that should matter are gifts from God, not gifts from man. So yeah, it talks about tears is, is good for the soul. Tear, you crying off the soul, that's not, again, physically manifestation. It seems like it's coming from your body. No, those tears, if it's godly sorrow, that comes from your soul. When Jesus weeps in Gethsemane, soul. And I'm telling you, Jesus Christ says, yeah, he's a physical man, but he knows better. He knows he's a soul. <laughs> Jesus Christ will agree with me right now everything I'm talking about because it's biblical. So, yeah, let's talk about time. People that worship time, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll stop with this. I, I don't have time for this. I don't have time to listen to you. Remember, I told you the devil's a god of preoccupation. Time this, time that. I don't have time. Time is an illusion. Quote by Albert Einstein doesn't exist. It's well, it exists in the sense it's relative. It can be stretched. It can be accessed. You, you have a time flies. Well, yesterday when I did the videos, I couldn't believe it was uh, eight o'clock already. Well, of course, you you move through time just like you move through a DVR, a movie. Fast forward stuff. That's you. If you're in, truly in the spirit and body, yeah, absolutely. That's not really you. Though. That's Holy Ghost enabling to you to do that. I don't have time. God makes the time because He, because He's beyond time. Okay, times He does. People keep thinking God's, uh, is of time. No, He's beyond it. Time is the curse of sin. Okay, things age and die because it's in sin. Animals die because it's in sin. We curse the earth. Cursed earth. We're cursed. 
I age because of my sin, sinful nature. Okay? So it's saying time is not absolute. We think that's what I'm trying to say. You think time is absolute. No, it's relative. So this this says there is no time, there never was, and there never will be. Yet yeah, there is time, but it's relative, it's not absolute. You're a spirit. How is a spirit condemned by time? I'm talking to unsaved and saved people. How can a spirit be affected by time? He doesn't age. Are you saying you age? Your body does. But if you're saved, you're the soul, you're a spirit. So yeah, it goes out saying uh, everything exists in the present moment. Uh, the past is a past is history. The future is a mystery. The present is a gift. The today is called a gift. That's why it's called the present. It's called the present form. This is God's gift. You should not worry about the past or future. You need to if you're saved. You need to think about this. Is really common sense to anyone. You need to think about in terms of time now. What I'm doing now. Never mind what I have. To, Past and the future, though, yeah, in that sense, those don't exist. To me, past and future doesn't exist. Am I saying is this? Am I saying this in the now? Is it past, future? I know it sounds confusing, but yeah, past and future doesn't exist. It's all about the now. Even New Agers, mysticism, New Age trash, even they admit it. Quantum physics admit it. That's biblical. There's no. There's a reason why it's called the present. Again, the words. Be focused with now. So it, it talks about time does not, when quantum theory, it does not actually exist. There are things that are closer to you in time and things that are further away. Just there are things that are near and far away in space. But the idea that time flows past is just as a serve as a suggestion is the space does. It talks about time as a universal constant. Einstein theory says, Einstein talks about time and space continuum how uh, time and space are related look up that time and space continuum yeah you need to look at time just like you watch a, a movie that you recorded on your DVR that's how you need to look at it. how's that far-fetched you do you do something you like Time seems is flying by. You do something you don't like. Time seems like it's slowing down. Because it is. It's not. Don't don't use that word seem. It is. To you. I'm running with Usain Bolt, the fastest guy in the world, I think. Right? His time's going faster. He, for him, time is speeding up faster because he's faster than me than, than me. When he, we go in a race and he just leads me in the dust. To him, time is different. Because it is. Oh, no, no, no. It just seems like that. No, no. Don't don't give me that seem. It is. That's a scientific fact. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay? All perceptions are... Time is a perception. That's what I'm talking And your perception is your reality. That's demonic statement. It is to a degree. What do what you mean by that? Perception is reality. Okay? Uh, like, here's a perfect example of me doing this. I'm not saying, man, it's taking a long time. I need to do this. What time is it? Notice I didn't go... I don't. My alarm clock faces to the window. I barely look at it. Probably need like to go to work. You know, alarm clock. But I don't look at. You know, I try to avoid time. That's a constraint. That's a bound. I'm not bound by time. Okay. I'm not bound. Uh, I live in a world of sin. I'm not bound by it. I've been freed from sin. Dead to sin, alive to Christ. You, your time constant. Time is your god. Idolatry, and I don't hear that talked about a lot. So, yeah, uh, time is a perception. Time goes as fast as, as you want it to go in your life. You know, I hear some rappers saying, like, again, I said, I go, I point to everything that's edifying. A, a day is like a year to me. I do so much in a day, it feels like it's a year. Because it is a year to him. Okay? Uh, uh, a man that's unemployed, no job, nothing to do, it feels like time's slowing down. Because it is. Then a guy that's living the high life. Boom! Can't believe that it's, it's the. I'm 50 years old already. Cause it is. Time is perception. Time is illusion. That's a quote from Al Einstein. I mean, that's biblical. Time, time is a curse of sin. Does heaven have time? Does hell have time? No, they're eternal. Can't have time. It talks about there's no such thing as time. Like I said, it is. It's just relative. Talks. Here's another one talks about what is reality, but I'll get to that in the next video. Lord bless. I can do it.
all things to Christ who strengthened me.